POC Network here with another unboxing, this time coming from the company Waveform. And I have two antennas sitting next to me that are specifically designed to give you better 5G signal in your home where you might not normally have it, and specifically for those using 5G home internet services. And in our testing, we're going to be using this against T-Mobile since one of our homes don't really, well, they, it, it kind of lacks good coverage from T-Mobile despite being between two antennas that are roughly about a half a mile or less in distance. And it's unexplainable since T-Mobile really doesn't want to ever send anybody out to investigate to try to determine what could be blocking or interfering with their signal for all of their customers over here. So we took matters into our own hands thanks to this company, Waveform, who was nice enough to send out two antennas for us to test out. So what this does is, is this provides you an antenna that you can install as high up in your house as possible. You can They, they give you multiple different scenarios and where you can place them. but. Ideally, the best place to put them is on the outside of your home and in some cases either facing the nearest cell tower or an omnidirectional option where it doesn't really matter as much. It then feeds signal down from what it can see, sending and receiving, to those cell towers down four cables that head down to where your 5G home internet router will be and then it provides 5G signal to that router and then it's able to disperse that signal via Wi-Fi or at least not really disperse the 5G signal, but to uh, provide connectivity via Wi-Fi to, to the rest of your devices in your home. Now, the one sitting to my left here, this is the Waveform Quad Mini Omnidirectional Antenna. So this is going to be the one where it doesn't really matter exactly where it's facing because it's omnidirectional. It's going to be trying to receive and transmit in all directions looking for the nearest cell tower. The one to my right here, this is a step up. This is the Waveform Quad Pro 4x4 MIMO directional antenna. And so the purpose of this, it's, it's, it's using MIMO beamforming technology to be able to give you some isolation between all four of those antennas directly to and from the nearest cell tower. And you have to face it into the direction of that cell tower to get the best reception. And what's important about these is that they're specifically designed for data, which is important because there are a lot of 5G boosters and accessories out there for just simply grabbing 5G and rebroadcasting it in your home or a small office kind of environment, but it isn't always as good for data as it is for phone calls, where this is specifically designed for data instead of phone calls because it's not being used for 5G to rebroadcast in your home. It's just receiving and transmitting to 5G to be able to bring connectivity to your 5G home router, which then is able to just, uh, will share Wi-Fi signal throughout your house or small business to be able to provide connectivity to all of your devices. So it isn't a focus on, you know, cellular communications in terms of calls. It's a focus on just data. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to take a look at some of these devices and see what they look like to give you an idea of what you'd be mounting to your home or elsewhere around your home, depending on your given scenario. So we're going to start with the mini here. We're going to pop this open. Now, if you've ever considered access points that you see in commercial buildings, let it be hotels, uh, just office buildings, casinos, or anything like that, if you, if you consider what those look like, this will look kind of familiar to you. It's going to kind of look like one of those in a way. And or if you consider the piece of a dish, you know, that kind of protrudes from the disc and points at its source, it's kind of a similar idea. It is an antenna, you know, that you put on the top of your home, you point it towards your source, or somewhat towards the source, since this is omnidirectional. And then you, like I said, you have four cables here that are going to extend down from this. You can extend these with some extensions, and they make their way down to your 5G home router. And it's really simple. There's no power for this. It's, it is a passive antenna. And like I said, the company gives you multiple different options to be able to mount this. Uh, you have the option of using something like a, uh, the mount right here, I'm trying to do this while it's, it's all coiled up right here, which isn't exactly working, but it'll give you a mount solution. Uh, you also have a zip tie solution, so you can mount it to the back of it like this, and then these zip ties are gonna mount it 
to a pole of some sort. So that way you can have a pole structure coming off the side of your building or just in your yard somewhere that's a really long pole and you can zip tie this to that. Now, of course, if this is gonna be something that you plan to keep around for a long time, I would suggest replacing these with metal zip ties because you know if you're in an area where you have corrosive weather or just really extreme weather, these might not last long. So you might wanna replace these with metal ones. But it is nice that the company provides you with multiple options. In addition to that, they also give you suction cups as well. So in case you wanna just stick this to the outside of one of your windows high up in your home, you can do that as well. And besides instructions, the company gives you multiple different accessories to be able to make use of when you're buying one of their kits. So you have the option, we'll just take a look at this. Actually, I didn't need to open, open that by ripping it, but you have a window accessory here or a, wind, uh, a window entry jumper specifically that's going to adapt from those cables that are coming down from your antenna. So if you have this stuck to the outside of your window or right above it via a, a pole or, or the other mount, this will come down, it'll plug into these antenna adapters here. This is gonna to stick to the outside of your window and this will wrap around the window such as that. So that way when you close the window, it's able to close on this without causing any damage. And it's thin enough to be able to kind of make its way into the window frame or the window seal. It should hopefully, in most cases, be able to work. And then these cables run to your router. So you'd want to put your router nearby on the inside and these would attach to the antenna connections on your 5G home internet router. Now, if you are one of those that have, let's say, uh, like, again, we're just gonna use T-Mobile for this since that is what we have a, a you know experience with in terms of having issues at one of our home locations where we get literally no 5G internet, even though it's dead center in a nice big red blot of what their map claims to have 5G. Now, at that location, we had a uh, the 5G router that's kind of black, rectangular and kind of tall, and it has internal antennas. Uh, you can't really get to them officially. You can, but it does take uh, it does require some modification to the 5G home router itself. You have to take it apart to be able to gain access to these guys. And it kind of voids the warranty potentially with T-Mobile and they may or may not try to charge you for that when it comes time to giving, you know, giving the, the router back to them or upgrading or something happens to it, swapping it out with the same one. So if you have the black router, you might have to do some modifications. Now they do have a new one, which is something you'd want to get your hands on if you don't have 5G home internet yet. This is something you can ask for, or if you already have the black one, you can swap it out. That way you don't have to worry about opening up the black one and voiding the warranty. Instead, go to your near, nearest T-Mobile store that actually has one of these newer ones. This awesome little guy right here who has ports on the bottom. So you can see all four of your antenna ports are readily accessible for you to plug these into. No modifications necessary. You're gonna wanna be, be able to get your hands on one of these routers and then you won't have to worry about any warranty voiding or anything like that. This will be directly just plug and play. So again, this goes on your window or on top of your house somewheres. It comes in through the window or via another means, but it plugs into this if you're using your window, this into the back of the router. If you are using this and this is gonna be an extension, so go ahead and pop this open. If you are using another means of getting this to your router, so for our example, we're gonna be installing this into kind of a, a crawl space in a home that's at the very top of the home and it's gonna run through PVC pipe into a room that kind of captures, you know, kind of satellite coaxial from cable or anything else that, you know, runs that are coming into the house and feeding it into a smart box in, in the wall. And then this, this end right here, this one actually extends from this, this end right here is what will plug directly into the router. If for whatever reason you do have the black router and you don't wanna swap it out, yeah, it just, you're, you're dead set on using it and taking it apart because, you know, it's for science. We don't, I, I can't really say we recommend it because, you know, T-Mobile might get mad at us because we're recommending you to avoid their warranty. So that is completely up to you and by your own choice. But if you take that route, the company does provide or have an adapter here. Now this is just your typical adapter that's gonna go from your normal connection here to those small little antenna connections that you can typically find on laptops. When you swap out those cards on there to upgrade your Wi-Fi card on a laptop, if you've ever done that, you'll see these little antenna wires that pop in, they just kind of press and pop right into place into the antenna ports 
on that card. So that will be something similar with the black one. When you open it up, it'll have four of these on the inside that this will adapt from here to here and pop into place. But again, I highly recommend getting one of these so that you don't have to worry about doing that. Uh, no warranties are being voided and everything just plugs directly into place. Now, commonly when I recommend anything that involves adapting and, and extending or, or anything of the like, I always try to recommend that you minimize your adaptive points as much as possible because every single time you make an adaption or extend something, that is a failure point that's being added to that entire run. So if you're having to troubleshoot something in terms of the signal flow of, of whatever's going wrong, you have to be able to go back and well, troubleshoot every single connection point in that entire setup. So the fewer connection points, the better. So again, this is the quad mini omnidirectional antenna. So it doesn't matter if it's facing the nearest cell tower or not. You just have to be as high as possible and be able to have a good advantage or viewpoint advantage of being able to see that cell tower to be able to get as much of a connection as possible. And with this, you should be able to, if you're, again, if you're having issues with getting 5G internet in your home, this will help to extend you from, you know, one or no bars to, well, as long as you get at least one bar, hopefully, it'll extend you up to maybe four or even a full five bar signal. So now we're gonna take things a little bit more seriously and we're gonna take a look at their Quad Pro. Again, this is a four x four MIMO directional antenna, which means you're gonna to wanna to be able to face this directly at whatever cell tower is closest to your home or business. And it's the same thing. So you have four antennas here. You have some connection points in the back. This is gonna send down with an extension. They do provide an extension down to the 5G home internet router. And it comes with a number of accessories because again, they want to give you like this one, a lot of options in terms of hooking it up to your home. So you have zip ties, you have Velcro, you have brackets and, and bolts and nuts so that you can take advantage of things like this, where you want, you know, this is gonna obviously look familiar in terms of some things you see in the tops of people's homes. You know, this is going to give you an option for uh, being able to point this in whatever direction you're, you're trying to reach. If you wanna mount it to just the top of your home somewhere, then you also have an option like this, which is a little bit neater looking, but you can do the same. So some of these you can attach to poles. Uh, so if you want to use a flagpole or something, some of these you can attach to the side of your building. You can get creative and do it in other ways, but they give you options and those will attach to the back here where you have some bolts on the back. And like I said, they're, they're really trying to make this as easy as possible for you be, to be able to get these installed. It's their way of making a user-friendly experience and what's also nice is they provide really decent customer service. They absolutely love to speak with you if you have any issues installing or you just want to learn more about the product before you even try to install it or in terms of getting tips and tricks and who you should reach out to to install it for you if you don't want to install it yourself. This is going to be though the one you're going to want if you have you know a a little bit stronger network that you're trying to achieve, uh, more speeds, uh, you know where the cell tower is, which is relatively easy to do. You can look up cell tower maps online and enter your address and try to figure out where the nearest cell tower is so you know exactly which direction to point this into. But this is gonna give you the most speeds, uh, or at least just the best connectivity to the nearest cell tower. Where this is omnidirectional, you don't know where the nearest cell tower is, and you just need to install it and be done with it. This is if you want to dig down and just make sure you have the best connection you can possibly achieve. And again, just like this one, this one is passive. There is no plugging this into the wall or anything. You just install it somewhere, route your cables down, plug it into the back of your 5G home internet router. It, it doesn't take much to figure out how to do this. They do come with instructions. They pretty much hold your hand walking through the entire installation process, so you really shouldn't have any issues. And what really makes this better is the price. You would think something like this hanging off the side of your building, you know, this is gonna cost you a fortune. You know, you're looking at probably, you know, one might assume five, six, seven hundred dollars for something like this, but it's not the case. Uh, it also helps, it's just a passive system. It's actually a lot more simpler than you might imagine. It just looks more intense than it really is. But really, it's pretty simple, and so is the price. So the omnidirectional mini is only $119, or $119.99, so $120. 
the Quad Pro is only $250 or $249.99. So you got $120, $250. So this is, again, just for the average home user that wants the most easy experience in terms of installation. Practically put this anywhere as long as it's up high so that it has a nice bird's eye view and the best chance of obtaining a signal without any distractions or just interference from taller buildings or surfaces around you. This one is going to require a little bit more, but not much. Again, it's just a step above this. It's more about just knowing where the nearest cell tower is so you can point it directly at the cell tower versus just sticking it anywhere. So those are your two options. Both of them are incredibly affordable, and if they work, kind of a, a useful two to have if you plan on taking advantage of something like T-Mobile's 5G home internet. Especially when you live in an area like the house we're gonna install this in, where T-Mobile refuses to send anybody out to troubleshoot things. So unfortunately, sometimes you have to take, take things into your own hands if you want something to be done right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be bringing this to that specific home that we're having issues with. And we actually ran a story with about, you know, in terms of is 5G home internet worth it or not? And from that experience, we'll be able to tell you how well this works because this is a perfect example. When the router is installed in that house up high as possible, it gets like literally a bar, maybe sometimes two bars. And even then, sometimes it has connectivity with a bar and sometimes it doesn't. You can't even do a speed test at times. Or sometimes you actually do get connectivity, but it's like three megabits a second, not fast at all. So it'll be very interesting to see how well this performs in turning that into something much faster and hopefully a full-blown T-Mobile 5G home internet experience. Now it's gonna take some time to be able to put all that together, so it might be a little bit before that story hits the internet. But when it does, it'll be available at pocnetwork.net. And we'll also include a link in the description of this video as well so that you can easily find it. But that will give you the verdict in terms of how well this actually works, especially in a perfect scenario where it is absolutely needed. Again, that's gonna be at pocnetwork.net once we've had the time to install this and determine what we think about it. Both of these are available right now via Waveform's website, as well as certain other retailers. We'll try to provide links as well in the description for that. If you liked what you've seen here, don't forget to subscribe and follow us, and definitely tick that like button so we know that you liked this video specifically, and definitely make use of the comments to let us know what you think. If you have any just general comments or questions for each other, for us, or even for Waveform, just in case they're watching, definitely make, make use of those comments and share your thoughts. And as always, we thank you for watching, and we'll catch you next time. If you want to stay on top of all the latest and greatest, and or at least the gadgets we cover, remember to subscribe right here. Subscription button. Click it. You're going to want to. There's lots of videos, interviews, previews, all sorts of stuff. Button. Click it.